Hi everyone and welcome. We're in my garden today and I wanted to just talk a little bit about grit. And when I refer to grit, I'm referring to grit in the context of vermicomposting. And the grit that I use, my uh, material of choice, is ground eggshells. Other people use sand, other people use ground oyster shells. There's a variety of different things that could be used, but for me, because of its you know availability, it's eggshells. So um, what I have here is a little container filled with some uh, already ground up eggshells. And I'm um, just starting this video with a little bit of a public service announcement. So I just wanted to uh, do a little demonstration, just really quick here, since the breeze is blowing and I'm out in the, uh, out in the air, it should be fairly safe to do this. So I have a whole bunch of egg shell ground up fine. But it also has, just from me shaking it around a little bit, a, a fair amount of the very fine dust material that collects on top. And it doesn't take much to get that stuff airborne. So um, I just want to use this as a quick demonstration to warn everyone that if you're going to go with eggshell grit for your vermicomposting, it's pretty common knowledge, but I just want to make it clear that the, um, the material is extremely coarse and uh, although it's not toxic per se as far as I understand it it does have the ability if you get it into your um, lungs to have uh, severe pulmonary issues so um, the bottom line is don't do it you know do your own research I found information on an, on a website of e people that do etchings and carvings of eggshells for decorate, decorative purposes and um, people that do that either do it with a mask or with some sort of a, a hood or ventilation system or do it outside when the breeze is blowing to make sure that they don't end up with any of the dust that comes off the eggshells in their lungs. So um, with that said, I want to move inwards into the house to uh to move on to the next discussion topic so what you have here is a couple weeks worth of eggshells collected um after being used raw now some people might have eggshells that were collected after the eggs had been boiled and if that's the case then this doesn't really apply because the the boiling of the material has already sterilized it i just wanted to go through a quick demonstration of the the way i used to um, create my eggshell grit. Um, I would take some eggshell, not going to use much in this case just since it's just a simple demonstration. And what I would use is a baby food jar, a little baby food jar like this. And then um, my implement, my tool, was this garden shovel with a wooden handle. You can even see here on the butt of the handle how it's been abraded and um, worn down by me doing this. But basically I would use this as a mortar and pestle to go down into the container with the wooden handle and I would grind it and grind it and grind it and I'd be dripping sweat and I'd be getting hot and tired and my wrists and hands would start getting very tired and eventually when I got some material that I thought was small enough I would um, take a I would take a kitchen strainer like this and just use a piece of newspaper as uh, as my drop cloth and then I would, uh, I would start filtering the material that I had ground up to make sure that it was small enough and adequate in size to be used for vermicomposting purposes. I got jealous of watching people on YouTube who were using much more uh, high-tech means to, um, to come up with this end result. So I decided, hey, why don't I give this a try myself? Um, I went to the kitchen and I found myself a device. This one here is, um, I guess this is known as the Ninja or Magic Bullet I believe is another uh, popular name brand for these. So I started using the, the Ninja to create my, uh, my grit and my oh my does this thing work good. Within seconds you've got an entire batch of eggshells like this ground down perfectly um, almost no need to run it through the sifter, although I do, just to make sure I don't really have any large pieces that didn't ground down properly. And then, um, and then before you know it, I've got a whole container like this full of, um, full of nice eggshell grit. But, I do want to warn that if you do this, you can see here, 
the eggshell is extremely abrasive so what it's going to end up doing is it's going to grind the inside wall of your container um, and it's just going to basically I, I don't want to say ruin it but you know a nice smooth surface is much easier to get clean than than a surface that's abraded and if you feel it you could feel that it's rough um, so in a way I've um, I've kind of damaged my uh, little grinder here by using it for this purpose um, and it just takes a little bit more effort now I think to make sure that this is in fact clean before putting it away for the next use so um, you know be warned just another warning here that if you do use your grinder for this sort of a thing you do run the risk of possibly abrading it to the point where it doesn't really um, not to say it doesn't work but it just makes it more difficult to clean so um, luckily back in the uh, the back of the garage where all the old uh, recently replaced kitchen utensils are I was able to find to find this old thing which is basically the same thing it's um it's not really a name brand as far as I could tell it's called the elite cuisine and it's a little bit different um, it's missing one of the feet and you could see uh, the little the little um, the bottom of the cup on this one is missing and it doesn't really have a very long cord so you definitely need an extension cord to operate it um, and for that matter I haven't even used this yet but I did just br I did just bring it down from the garage and I was going to christen it today uh, in the making of this video to see if it's going to potentially be a good replacement for the Ninja that I've been using till now. And I sure hope it is. So uh, why don't we go ahead and load this thing up and see how it works. I just plugged it in to see if it operates. Yep. Seems to work. Let's give it a go. Now it's that's about half of my supply of eggshells, so I'm just going to give that a go and let's give it a shot and see how it works. My oh my, if I was doing the old uh, mortar and pestle method, it would be taking me hours and hours to get to this stage. Alright, so it is getting a little bit dusty inside, so it's a bit difficult to see, but let's go ahead and pop it out. We could always hit it again if we feel that we need to grind it further. But, um, before I open this, just want to keep in mind, we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to be breathing this dust in too much, so we want to just be careful. So now, I have to admit, it doesn't seem to grind as effect effectively as the Ninja, but I bet there's plenty of material in this, small enough to go through the strainer and to make it to be adequate for contributing to my supplies. Why don't we give that a try and we'll see how it turned out. Definitely looking good. Stuff feels really fine. One thing I'll do is I'll kind of gently blow across the top of what I'm working on here just to keep that dust that's lifting off just to keep it away from my face and send it that way. And yeah, it's going to make my wormery a little bit dusty, but it doesn't matter. My wormery is pretty much dusty anyway, so. Okay, looks pretty good to me. We've got quite a bit of it as well. So, you'll see right here, this is a nice big pile of uh, eggshell grit. In fact, it's so much that I'm wondering if it's even going to fit into my container. Let's see how much of it we can pour in. That's my quick little demonstration of um, producing my eggshell grit for vermicomposting. I, um, I appreciate you keeping me company on this, uh, on this quick demo. Hopefully it was um, information that you found useful. So, uh, so with that, I wanted to thank you for joining me and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if, uh, 
And if you did, please consider signing up to be a subscriber to my channel. That's always appreciated as well. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye now.